and show the relationship between organisms in an ecosystem. They are made up of bars stacked on top of one another. They can be used to show number of organisms or biomass of each trophic level in the ecosystem. They visually describe the quantities that we see in food chains and food webs. So how does that work? Well, the bottom of the pyramid represents the primary producers, the first trophic level. On top of that go the primary consumers, the second trophic level, and so on up through the secondary consumers, tertiary consumers, until you reach the highest trophic level in that ecosystem. In the ecosystem, the energy is being transferred up the pyramid, as each organism is consumed by the organism in the next trophic level up. The height of the bar should be the same, but the width of the bars should be proportional to the quantity that's being displayed. So, for an ecological pyramid of numbers, the width of the bar shows the number of organisms at that step in the food chain. The unit for this is number of organisms. In the pyramid of biomass, it shows the biomass of organisms, and a common unit for this is grams per metre squared. So let's look at the following pyramid of numbers, which doesn't take into account the size of organisms. In this ecosystem, we have grass, which is eaten by rabbits, who are then eaten by foxes, who are finally eaten by eagles. As you can see in this example, thousands of blades of grass are eaten by lots of rabbits. That then feeds very few foxes. These foxes will then feed a larger number of eagles. The more organisms there are, the wider the bar is. Pyramids of numbers can end up looking a bit wonky. For example, if one primary producer can feed lots of primary consumers, like an oak tree which feeds lots and lots of little caterpillars. Pyramids of biomass, on the other hand, are almost always large at the bottom and then get smaller going up. This is because, rather than showing the number of organisms, they show the number of the total mass in that trophic level. Think about it this way. One caterpillar weighs about 3 grams. One oak tree weighs about 30 tonnes, which is 30 million grams. So that's 10 million caterpillars to equal the mass of one oak tree. Because of this, the bar for the oak tree will be much wider than the bar for the caterpillars even though there are far more caterpillars and maybe only one oak tree in the ecosystem. So, to recap, ecological pyramids are diagrams that we use to visually represent the relationship between organisms in an ecosystem. The bars each represent trophic levels and their order represents the flow of energy. The width of the bar in the number pyramids represents the number of organisms in that trophic level. The width of the bar in biomass pyramids represents the biomass of the organisms in that trophic level.